Family Cookery Class. So in today's lesson, I am going to discuss with you learning competency about poultry and game dishes. So this lesson deals with the selection, preparation, cooking, presentation, and storage of poultry in game in commercial kitchen or catering operation. So at the end of this lesson, you are expected to perform Miss and Plus, cook poultry and game dishes, plate, present, and evaluate poultry and game bird dishes, and store poultry and game dishes. So we are going to discuss now perform Miss and Plus. So Miss and Plus is a French term which means that you are going to set out all the necessary tools and equipment as well as the ingredients needed. So along with this are the most essential learning competencies in prepare poultry and game dishes. First is identify the market forms of poultry and then determine the poultry crafts in accordance with the prescribed dish. So let us discuss first selecting and purchasing poultry and game. So poultry consumption in the Philippines has increased remarkably in the last de decade. This is evident in the popularity of chicken dishes and restaurants all over the country. So, in this time of pandemic, in this time of new normal, mapapansin ninyo na mayroon tayong shortage ng ano? Okay, walang available na baboy sa ating palengke. Karamihan ay manok. So, mapapansin din ninyo yung sinatawag natin sa AP na law of demand and supply. So, ano nga yun sa AP? Yan. Habang nawawala ang supply at lumalakas ang demand, ay tumataas ang presyo. Yan. Tama. So, makikita natin ngayon sa kasalukuyan na karamihan ang available na karne sa palengke ay uh, poultry o yung tinatawag natin manok. Poultry refers to several kinds of fowl that are used as food and the terms includes chicken, turkey, duck, pigeon, and quail. So these are usually domesticated, raised mainly for meat and eggs. Birds such as mites that are hunted for food are game. So nakita ninyo yung pagkakaiba ng poultry and game. Ang poultry ay domesticated. Domesticated means inaalagaan, kagaya ng uh, chicken, turkey, duck, pigeon, and quail. Samantalang yung mga game, game ay yung mga smites, yung mga hinahant sa bundok at sila ay binabaril o hinuhuli. Okay, the different kinds of poultry, we have chicken, pigeon, quail, duck, and eat it. Okay, so chicken has white and dark meat and when prepared without skin has less fat. So ito pala ang dahilan kung bakit uh, mas marami ang kumakain ng uh, manok. Dahil siya ay meron lamang kaunting taba. It has less or little fat. Number six, we have goose, turkey, pheasant, wild duck, and guinea fowl. Okay, pheasant is the most popular game bird in the United States. The meat is mildly flavored and the hen is tender than cock. Okay, so sa states, ang popular na uh, game bird ay yung tinatawag nating pheasant. Okay, classification of poultry and games. So, meron tayong uh, nine. We have chicken, ang use sa meat and eggs. We have ducks. We have turkey. We have goose. We have quail. We have pigeon. We have guinea fowl and wild duck and pheasant. So, yung uses niya kadalasan ay karne at saka itlog. So, in other parts, ginagamit din for industrial purposes yung kanyang feather or yung kanyang Balahibo. Okay, so popular tayo ay sa manok. Pagdating sa poultry, we are very popular with chickens. Chicken and other poultry may be divided into classes, which are essentially of the same physical characteristics, associated with egg, sex, live weight, and breed. 
Okay. Sa linang o dito sa atin sa barangay, kilala ninyo, lalo na yung mga mahilig sa manok, mahilig magsabong, alam nila yung iba't ibang lahi ng manok. Ano-ano nga yung alam ninyong lahi ng manok? Meron tayong tinatawag na uh, Texas, may lemon, may tinatawag nilang sasu, at iba pa. So, depende sa lahi ng manok, yung kanyang uh, timbang, edad, sex, life, weight, and breed. Okay, so popular tayo doon sa tinatawag nating broiler or prior. Yung kadalasan noon ay tinatawag na 45 days. Ano nga yung 45 days? After 45 days ay pwede nang i-harvest or pwede nang katayin, pwede nang ibenta sa palengke. Pero ngayon parang 30, 32, 35 days pwede na siya uh, ipagbili o pwede siyang katayin. Broiler or prior is a young chicken, usually 9 to 12 weeks of age of either sex, is tender meat with soft, pliable, smooth textured skin. So, broiler in prior, 9 to 12 weeks. Okay, we have roaster. A roaster is usually 5 to 6 months of age. Roaster is usually 5 to 6 months of age. Okay, we have kapun. Kapun is a surgically dissect male chicken usually under 8 months of age. Pag sinabi natin kapun, dissect male chicken. Tinatanggalan siya ng itlog. O sa, sa Tagalog ay tinatanggal yung uh, uh, itlog. Kapun. Okay, we have stag. Stag is a male chicken Usually under 10 months of age with poor skin with somewhat toughened and darkened flesh. Anong kulay daw nung laman? Uh, tough, uh, darkened, dark. Ibig sabihin ay medyo maitim at saka maganit. A male chicken usually under 10 months of age. Okay, next. We have hen or stewing chicken. Sa Tagalog ay inahin. It is a mature female chicken which is usually more than 10 months of age it can be also be a called layer o yung tinatawag natin inahin so pagtapos na siya mga itlog ang tawag na natin ay called layer okay next we have cock or rooster so alam na alam ito ng mga mahilig magsabong it is a mature male chicken With coarse skin, toughened and darkened meat, and hardened breastbone tip. Hardened breastbone tip. Medyo matilos yung kanilang uh, dibdib. Sabi nga doon sa popular na kantay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Manok na pula, mukhang matapang. Ay, naku. Yan ay timsong ng mga mahihilig magsabong. Yan. Okay, yung kasunod, yung tinatawag natin, Jumbo broiler. Okay, jumbo broiler. This is a large chicken about 4 kg. Dressed weight which are on sale especially during the Christmas holiday. So itong jumbo broiler ay mabentang mabenta lalo na kapag malapit na ang Pasko o merong mga uh, okasyon. Bakit? Dahil ito, ang isang peraso ay tumitimbang ng apat na kilo. Okay. Punta naman tayo dun sa other poultry. Other poultry, first is we have pecking duck. Pecking duck, this is a breed of duck that originated from China and is noted for its tender and flavorful meat. So, saan da daw galing yung pecking duck? Yan. Originated from... China. Okay, we have duck or itik. So, familiar tayo sa duck at saka sa itik. It's available and popular in many towns of Rizal as fried itik. So, kilala ang lalawigan ng Rizal doon sa tinatawag natin fried itik. At ano pang gamit ng maliban sa ipinapride? Ginagawa din itlog na maalat yung Uh, itlog ng itik Ginagawang itlog na maalat Di sa may Santa Cruz Mayroon Santa Cruz Laguna Mayroon di ang popular na bilihan ng itlog Ang sabi ay Ang itlog ni Kuya 
Yan, tindahan ang pangalang itlog ni Kuya. Okay, next we have squab. Squab. This is a young, immature period of either sex and has extra tender meat. So, ima young, immature pig yun. Sa Tagalog ay kalapate. Okay. Let us discuss now selecting good quality poultry and game. So, paano ba tayo bibili ng magandang uri ng poultry at saka ng game? So, mayroon siyang iba't ibang characteristics. So, first, yung tinatawag nating live poultry. Bibili natin sila ay buhay. Okay, kapag bibili tayo ng buhay na poultry and game, dapat mayroon ito nung sumusunod na mga characteristics. Letter A, it has clear, clear eyes. Dapat malinaw ang mata. Okay, letter B, a young chicken has fine and soft feet. If it is old, the feet are thick and scaly. Okay, kapag bata ang manok, ito daw ay may pino at malambot na paa. Kapag ang manok ay nagkakaedad na, ang feet ay ah, makapal at saka scaly o maraming kaliskis. So, makikita mo yung kaliskis ng manok sa legs ng manok na sa baba. Kapag maraming kaliskis, ibig sabihin ang manok ay may edad na. Letter C, the bone at the tip of the breast is soft in younger chicken and thick in older ones. So, hihipuin mo yung dibdib. Kapag yung dibdib ng manok, lalo na kung ito ay lalaki, matandang, ay malambot, ibig sabihin ito ay bata pa. At kapag ito naman ay matigas na yung dibdib ng manok, ibig sabihin ito ay may edad na. Okay, letter D. Small feathers indicates that the chicken is young. Siyempre, kapag ang balahibo ay manipis pa, ibig sabihin ay bata pa yung manok. So, yun ay sa live poultry. Okay, next. Whole poultry. So, this has, these are slaughtered birds that have been bled and defeathered. Pag sinabi natin uh, whole poultry, sila yung mga kinatay na manok, tinanggalan ng dugo, at saka tinanggalan ng balahibo. Kagaya ng nakikita ninyo dun sa picture. So, letter A, ang characteristics, their head, feet, and vesera as are still intact. So, ibig sabihin, ang tinanggal pa lang ay dugo at saka balahibo. Yung ulo, yung paa, at yung lamang loob ay nandun pa rin. Letter B, they are clean and well fleshed. Malinis. Letter C, they have moderate fat covering. And letter D, they are free from pin feathers and show no cuts, scars, or missing Skin. So, makikita ninyo, wala na siyang mga balabalahibo. Mas maganda kung walang sugat or walang mga missing skin or yung mga tuklak sa balat. Letter number three, we have dressed poultry. Pag sinabi natin dressed poultry, these are slaughtered birds that have been bleed, defeathered, and the viscera organs are Remove. So, tinanggalan na ng alin. Tinanggal ang buto. Ah, tinanggal ang dugo. Sorry. Tinanggal ang dugo. Tinanggal ang malahibo. At tinanggal na yung vesera o yung tinatawag nating internal organs ay tinanggal na. Kagaya ng nakikita ninyo sa larawan. So, the characteristics are the skin is smooth and yellow in color. So, makinis ang balat. Yung iba ay yellowish. Yung iba ay pinkish. The breast is plump or medyo malambot-lambot ang kanyang dibdib. The tines are well developed. It has no object, ob, objectionable odor. O walang masamang amoy. It is heavy and the skin is not watery. So, makikita ninyo maganda yung uh, dress poultry. Kagaya ng nakikita sa larawan. Number four, we have ready to cook. 
ready to cook. The breast bird may be cut up and marinated or seasoned. Ito yung mga instant. Lulutuin na lang. Sila ay marinated na at sila ay meron ng recado. Okay, number five, we have poultry parts. Okay, nakakabili din tayo sa palengke yung ano, tinatawag natin uh, puro hita lang, o di kay puro breast lang, di kay puro chicken wings lang, yan. Poultry parts. Several pieces of a single poultry part are usually packed in one carton, wrapped and chilled or frozen. The various poultry parts are divided any of the following. May tatlong uri, yung tinatawag nating dark meat, white meat, at saka giblet. So, pag sinabi natin dark, dark meat, kasama dito ang drumstick, thighs, wings, neck, back, and rib cage. Dark meat includes drumstick, thighs, wings, neck, back, and rib cage. White meat, letter B, white meat, we have breast. O yung dibdib, sa Tagalog ay picho. And letter C, we have giblet. Giblet includes the gizzards and heart. So we are going to discuss further the different parts or the different cuts of poultry. Okay, so ano bang sustansya ang nakukuha sa manok? Let us discuss now the nutritional value and components of poultry and game. So, like meat, poultry contains high-quality proteins. Chicken, then the most consumed among the fowls, has 22.6% protein, 76.3% water, and traces of fats, vitamins, and minerals. So, ano nga yung nutritional value and components of poultry and game? We have 22.6% protein, 76.3% water, and traces of fat, vitamins, and minerals. Okay, so poultry meat consists of dark and white muscles. Kaya nga mayroon tayong tinatawag na dark meat at saka white meat. So dark muscles are those found in parts of false body which are used. They, these are the legs, thigh, wings, neck, and rib cage. These are richer in fat and they have more connective tissues and have higher riboflavin and myoglobin content. Higher riboflavin and myoglobin content. So most people prepare the dark meat than the white meat because of its juiciness and Flavor. So, variety meat refers to the meat of such organs as the gizzard, heart, kidneys, and uh, liver. As I have told you, dark muscles contain myoglobin and riboflavin. So, myoglobin is the heme iron containing protein that gives meat its Color. So, myoglobin is responsible for the color or dark color of the meat. It is, and it's a great source of dietary iron. It stores oxygen and muscle cells and similar to hemoglobin. So, myoglobin stores oxygen and muscle cells and it is similar to hemoglobin that stores oxygen in Blood cells. So, myoglobin stores oxygen in muscle cells while hemoglobin stores oxygen in blood cells. So, the more myoglobin content, the darker the color of the meat. So, another one is riboflavin. So, what is riboflavin? Riboflavin or vitamin B2 works with other B vitamins. It is important for body growth and it helps in red blood cell production and it is also aid in the release of energy of protein. So, kaya pala kapag tayo ay kumakain lagi ng karne, mas mabilis yung ating paglaki. Kagaya sa yung mga nasa syudad, ang kinakain lagi ay yung mga instant na binibili sa fast food na mostly ay 
chickens. Kaya pala ang bilis nilang tumaba. Dahil sa, o oh, mabilis silang lumaki, dahil dun sa chicken na kanila kinakain. Okay, so another is the preparation of poultry for cooking. So nakapanood na ba kayo, o nakakita, o naka-experience na ba kayo ng pagpiprepare, pagpapatay, pagpiprepare ng manok na kinakatay sa mga barangay? So ano-ano kaya yung unang ginagawa? Specifically, kapag ito ay native chicken or nahuli na yung native chicken. So, the first one is yung tinatawag nating slaughter and bleeding. So, slaughter and bleeding is the killing of animals for food. So, sila ay ginigilit sa liig at pinapatulo ang dugo. The second one is yung tinatawag nating scalding. So, matapos yung slaughter and bleeding. Second is scalding in which you are going to immerse briefly in a boiling water for various purposes such as to facilitate the removal of skin from fruit or to preserve meat. O yung pagtatanggal na balahibo. Yung tinatawag natin scalding. Scalding, ang ginagawa natin pag scalding ay ibinubuntog sa mainit na tubig. Okay, after scalding, gagawin naman yung tinatawag na defeathering or yung pagtatanggal na balahibo, the removing of feather. After removing of feather, number four, you have evisceration. Evisceration is the removing of viscera or internal organs. Tinatanggal yung mga lamang loob. And then number five is yung tinatawag nating deboning or pagtatanggal ng buto. So yung number five ay hindi naman kadalasan ginagawa sa native na manok. Ang kadalasan lang ang nating ginagawa ay hanggang evisceration and then ikinakat na or chinachap na yung manok uh, into desired cut. Uh, it depends upon the recipe or on the dish you are going to prepare. Okay, let us discuss now the market forms of poultry. So, paano ba nabibili ang mga manok sa palengke? Okay. So, yung una, nakakabili tayo ng tinatawag nating live poultry. O sa, kahit sa kapitbahay, pwede tayong bumili ng manok, ay binibenta nila ng live or buhay. So, magkaiba ang presyo ng live poultry at saka yung dressed poultry. Mas ma, medyo mas mura yung live kaysa sa, dun sa dress. So, live poultry should be healthy, alert, and well feathered and avoid, avoid poultry which have bruises blisters and broken bones. So, kapag bibili kayo ng buhay na manok, dapat ito ay healthy, alert, and well-feathered. Yung talagang masigla at uh, malusog. Iwasan na pagbili ng mga poultry na may mga sugat o di kaya ay may mga bali-bali ng uh, buto. Dapat ito ay healthy and alert and well-feathered. So, Uh, as, uh, as I observed, mayroong mga kumakain yung tinatawag nating sambot. Alam niyo yung sambot? Yun yung, yung mga nagsasabong. Okay, yung sambot, ay mawa, nanalo sila sa sabong. Yung sambot ay binibigay dun sa nanalo. And then, ang ginagawa ay kinakatay at kinakain. So, ano kaya effect? Ano yung, ano yung mga present dun sa sambot? So, bago ilaban yung manok, mayroong mga itinuturok na mga vial, na mga gamot doon sa mga manok bago sila isabong. And then, ang gagawin naman ay kakatayin and then kakainin ng tao. So, therefore, yung, man, yung gamot na itinurok doon sa manok ay nananalaytay pa doon sa mga muscles ng mga man, nung manok na napatay at kakainin naman ng tao. Sa palagay ninyo, Healthy kaya ang kumain ng sambot? So, bahala kayo mag-decide. Okay, the second one yung sinatawag nating whole poultry. Aside from live weight, ah, live poultry, makakabili din kayo ng tinatawag nating whole 
poultry. Ano nga yung kanina? Pag sinabi natin whole poultry, though not alive, the criteria for selecting live poultry also applied to whole poultry. So, dapat ay makinis, malinis ang balat nung bibili natin whole poultry. Wala yung mga nakikita nyo para may mga blister o may mga sugat-sugat sa balat. So, kaya na kailangan malinis at makinis ang ating bibilihin whole poultry. Next is yung tinatawag natin breast poultry. This is the most available poultry form in the market. So, kadalasan, this is the most available poultry form in the market. Pag pumunta kayong palengke, napakarami na ang uh, dressed poultry. Dressed poultry are actually slaughtered poultry with a head, feathered blood, feathers, uh, feet, and internal organs removed. Good quality dressed poultry should be free from slime of odor and discoloration. So, yun yung mga buong manok na nabibili sa palengke. So, yung live poultry ay buhay. Yung whole poultry ay namatay, tinanggalan na ng dugo at tinanggalan na ng uh, balahibo. Pag dress poultry, tinanggal na din ang internal organ. Wala ng head, wala ng feet, wala ng blood, wala ng feather and internal organs have been removed. Okay, so drone poultry. So, these are dress poultry that have been chilled or frozen. They are usually available in the grocery. So, ano kaya ang pagkakaiba ng dress poultry at saka ng drone poultry? So, alos ay sila ay magkatulad ng itsura, pero yung drone poultry, sila ay nailagay na sa ref or sila ay na yellowhan na. Yan. So, sila ay na-store na ng ilang araw siguro drone poultry. Nalagyan na ng yelo na ilagay na sa refrigerator. Yung mga available sa supermarket, uh, mga groceries, at kung tawagin na natin yun ay drone poultry. Pag dressed poultry, yun ay bagong katay na manok. Okay, the next market form yung tinatawag natin, ready to cook. Ano nga yung ready to cook kanina? nalagyan na ng seasoning or they are already marinated. So, ready to cook. These are poultry parts such as wings, breast, tines, or drumsticks which have been separately packed in a single container and frozen or chilled. Ready to cook. Nakalagay na sa pack. Okay. So, ano ang nakikita ninyo sa larawan? Nakikita ninyo my whole dress chicken which is uh, there is an imaginary line which is cut into one half and then one fourth dun sa other part you have breast wings tines leg with tie and drumstick so we are going to discuss now the different cuts of poultry so bago lutuin ang poultry ay ating o ang manok ay ating ah, hinihiwa O di kaya itawin, sabi nga ay tinitilad. O sa Ingles ay chinacha or kinaka. Okay, meron tayong yung tinatawag natin whole chicken. Whole chicken are marketed either fresh or frozen. So, yan. Yung buong manok. Sabi nga ay common ling luto ay lichong manok. Yan, lichong manok mas magandang tingnan kung siya ay buo or whole chicken. The second cut, yung tinatawag nating halves or cut into halves. Pag sinabi natin halves, sa mathematics, ang halves ay kalahati. Okay, so yung buo ay hinati natin, we split it from front to back through the backbone and the keel to produce two halves of approximately equal weight. Pag sinabing kalahati, magkasing timbang or hindi? Yan. Magkasing timbang. Ibig sabihin, kalahati. Kung yan ay isang buo, hinati sa dalawa, ang result ay one half or yung tinatawag nating halves. Okay. Yung tinatawag nating breast quarter. Or pag sinabi natin quarter, hinati sa ilan? Yung one hole ay hinati sa apat. 
Correct. Breast quarter. The hubs may be further cut into which include the wing. A breast quarter, including portion of the back, is all white meat. Yung tinatawag natin breast, uh, breast part, or tinatawag natin pitcho. Breast quarter. Okay, split breast quarter. A breast quarter with a wing removed. Kangina, yung breast quarter kasama alin? Yung wings. Pag tinawag na natin split breast, siya ay purong pitcho. A breast quarter with a wing removed. Tinanggal na natin yung alin? Tinanggal na natin yung pakpak o yung tinatawag natin sa English na wing. Okay. Split breast without back. A breast quarter with wing and back portion removed. Ito na yung purong pitcho. Purong laman. A breast quarter with wings and back removed. Meron na lamang siyang maliit na buto. Yung tinatawag nating breast bone. Ang breast bone sa science ay ano na nga tawag natin sa breast bone? Okay, next, we have boneless, skinless breast. Split breast that has been skinned and the bone. So, wala nang buto, wala nang uh, balat. Okay, mayroon din tayong tinatawag na 8-piece cut. 8-piece cut, the whole bird is cut into two breast halves with ribs and back portion two wings two times with back portion and two drumsticks so ano ano daw yung bumubuo sa eight piece cut okay we have two breast halves with ribs we have two wings two times and two drumstick two breast two wings two times and two drumstick is equal to eight piece cut Okay, let us discuss now the whole chicken wing. The whole chicken wing is an all-white meat portion composed of three sections, the drumlet, the midsection, and the tip. Okay, it has the whole chicken wing has three parts or three sections, the drumlet, the midsection, and the tip. So, kung ilalagay natin siya sa ating uh, human body, siya ay yung ating kamay. Okay. The wing grommet section is the first section between the shoulder and the elbow. The wing grommet is the first section between the shoulder and the elbow. Sabi ko, yung whole wings ay yung ating kamay. So, therefore, yung wing grommets is the portion from the shoulder to the elbow. So, mula dito hanggang dito sa manok, ang tawag natin ay wing grommets. Okay, the wing midsection with tip. The flat center section and the flipper wing tip. So, mula dito hanggang dito ay yung wing midsection with the wing uh, midsection. The wing midsection is the section between the elbow and the tip, sometimes called the wing flat or the mid joint. Yan. Okay. Ano na nga yung whole chicken wings? It has three sections. The drumlet, the midsection, and the tip. If we are going to apply uh, this part in our human body, in our body, so ito ay yung ating uh, kamay. Mula balikat hanggang sa uh, daliri. Ang tawag natin doon sa portion from the shoulder up to the elbow is yung tinatawag natin wing, drumlet, and then yung wing midsection with tip ay mula dito sa ating siko hanggang sa ating palad. Okay. At yun namang wing midsection ay yun lamang mula dito sa ating siko hanggang dito sa ating pulso. So, nakukuha nyo, naiimagine nyo. Okay. Let us discuss now the next cut, yung tinatawag nating 
whole chicken leg. Yan, sarap-sarap niyan. The whole chicken chicken leg is the drumstick thigh combination. So pinagsama drumstick and thigh combination. So the whole chicken leg is the whole is the drumstick thigh combination. The whole chicken leg differs from the leg quarter and does not contain a portion of the back. Kasi pag tinawag natin leg quarter, hinati mo lang yung manok sa apat, yung uh, leg quarter kasama yung uh, likod, yung tawag natin gulugod. Pero pag whole chicken leg, kasama lang ang alin, combination of drumstick and thigh. So, siya ay pure na hita. Hita ha? hindi nakasama yung ating back portion. Kasi pag nilagay na yung back portion, ang tawag natin doon ay leg quarter. Okay. Next is the boneless, skinless leg. The boneless, boneless, skinless leg. Whole chicken leg with skin and bone removed. Boneless, skinless. Tinanggala na buto at saka na Balat. Okay, next is the thigh. The thigh is the portion of the leg above the knee joint. So, kapag siya ay mula tuhod, pataas, yun yung tinatawag nating thigh. Sa, sa tao, yun ay hita. Sa manok, ang tawag din ay hita. Boneless, skinless thigh. Thigh with skin and bone removed. Tinanggalan na ng uh, balat at saka ng Buto. Okay, we have the drumstick. The drum drumsticks includes the lower portion of the leg quarter, the portion between the knee joint in the hock. Okay, so mula dun sa hita pa baba, yung tinatawag nating drumstick. Kilalang kilala ng mga bata sa tawag na chicken joy. Sabi nga, isa pang chicken joy. Okay, next is yung tinatawag nating giblet. Giblets includes heart, liver, and neck. So, dito kasama yung neck, yung heart, at saka yung liver, ha? Yung lieg ng manok, at saka uh, atay, at saka yung puso. Giblet. Okay. We have question class. Okay. Before we proceed to your evaluation, will you please make a reflection on the following question? You may write your answer in a clean sheet of pad paper. So first, what is your favorite chicken recipe? What is your favorite chicken recipe? Second, which part of chicken you like best? Which part of chicken you like best? Number three, name the market forms of poultry available in your locality. Name the market forms of poultry available in your locality. Number four, why it is essential to select and purchase good quality poultry. And then number five, if you were given a chance to get the first bite in a whole roasted chicken, which part you will take and whom you want to give them? Why? I'll repeat. If you were given a chance to get the first bite in a whole roasted chicken, which part you will take and whom you want to give them? Why? Okay, are you ready with your evaluation? Okay, you may write your answer in a clean sheet of pad paper or if you have your activity sheets with you, you may write your answer in your activity sheet. So, in a clean sheet of pad paper or in your activity sheet. So, activity 1 is matching type. Uh, you have to match column A with column B. Write the letter of the correct answer in your activity sheets or in a clean sheet of pad paper. So, column A, we have number 1, broiler and prior. Number 1, broiler and prior. Number 2, Roaster, number two, roaster, number three, kapon, kapon, number four, stag, we have stag, number five, 
hen, hen. Number six, cock or rooster, cock or rooster. Number seven, you have jumbo broiler, jumbo broiler. And number eight, you have pecking duck, pecking duck. And then nine, you have duck and eat it, duck or eat it. And number ten, you have squab, squab. So column B are the descriptions of the following poultry and game. Now letter A, young immature pigeon of either sex and has extra tender meat. Letter A, young immature pigeon of either sex and has extra tender meat. Letter B, available in popular and many towns of Rizal as fried etic. Letter C, breed of duck that originated from China and is noted for its tenderness. Letter C, breed of duck that originated from China and is noted for its tenderness. Letter D, large chicken about 4 kg dress weight. Letter D, dress a large chicken about 4 kg dress weight. Letter E, mature male chicken with coarse skin, toughened and darkened meat and hardened breastbone teeth. Letter E, mature male chicken with coarse skin, toughened and darkened meat and hardened breastbone teeth. Letter F, mature female chicken which is usually more than 10 months of age. It can be a called layer. Letter F, mature female chicken which is usually more than 10 months of age, it can also be used uh, called layer. Letter G, male chicken, usually under 10 months of age, with coarse skin, with somewhat toughened and darkened flesh. Letter G, male chicken, usually under 10 months of age, with coarse skin, with someone toughened and darkened flesh. Letter H. Surgically dissect male chicken, usually under 8 months of age. Letter H. Surgically dissect male chicken, usually under 8 months of age. Letter I. Usually 5 to 6 months of age. I, usually 5 to 6 months of age. Letter J. J, young chicken, usually 9 to 12 weeks of age of either sex. Is tender meat with soft, pliable, smooth, textured skin. Letter J, young chicken, usually 9 to 12 weeks of age of either sex. Is tender meat with soft, pliable, smooth, textured skin. Activity 2. Activity 2 is identify the characteristics of good quality poultry and game. Write the letter of your answer. So we have choices. Letter A, live poultry. Letter B, whole poultry. Letter C, Dress poultry or letter D, ready to cook. So, activity 2, identify the characteristics of good quality poultry and game. You have write the letter of your answer. The choices are A, live poultry. B, whole poultry. C, dress poultry. And letter D, ready to cook. Are you ready? Okay, number 11. The dressed birds may be cut up and marinated or seasoned. The dressed birds may be cut up and marinated or seasoned. 
Number 12, the skin is smooth and yellow in color. The skin is smooth and yellow in color. Number 13, their head, feet, and viscera are still intact. Their head, feet, and viscera are still intact. Number 14, it has clear eyes. It has clear eyes. Number 15, small feathers indicate that the chicken is young. Small feathers indicate that the chicken is young. Number 16, they have moderate fat coverings. They have moderate fat coverings. Number 17, the breast is plump. The breast is plump. Number 19. It has no objectionable odor. It has no objectionable odor. Number 20. They are cleaned well flesh. They are clean well flesh. For your activity 3, this will be recorded under performance task. So you have to accomplish this. Performance task is 70%. Activity 3 for your performance task. Give at least 5 different cuts of poultry that you are familiar with and write the chicken dishes suitable for each cut. Activity 3 for your performance task, give at least 5 different cuts of poultry that you are familiar with and write the chicken dishes suitable for each cut. For example, chicken wings. Chicken wings, the common dish with this is the chicken lollipop. Chicken wings chicken lollipop. You have to write down the cuts and then the dish that is suited for that cut for your performance task. Any more questions? Okay, so much for this learning outcome. Number one, perform Miss and Plus under learning competency. Uh, prepare poultry and game dishes. So this is Mom Odeline. Thank you for watching this video lesson. Good day!